about the project because we were talking that this was a film that was shot in 14 days. Yeah, I mean, what's weird about it is that uh, we shot the Chicago part in 2014, right? Wow. And then uh, uh, Francis was trying to get more funding and it, trying to do a whole bunch of stuff and <laughs> to be really honest, might as well. I mean, yeah, he's, you know. Um, I, I said to him, I said, dude, uh, look, I'm going through the transition into wisdom, and, um, and I'm going to be changing by the minute, so you got to get it together, dude, or this stuff is going to be gone. <laughs> so he, he found someone, and, 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 and Timothy Amundsen, who played Martin, um, said, uh, sure, and, and Tim and I knew each other, but we had never worked together before, and so... As soon as he said sure, everybody was like, oh, the dude from Psych, you know, oh, Gallivant yeah. said yes, we'll give you some money. And then uh, we shot the LA part about a year and a half later. So I know it's weird, right? You know? And I was like, what did I do? You know, that kind of thing. So. But it's amazing to see a film about a woman of a certain age. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what I liked about it was the fact that I always believe that uh, most of American women are a lot like me. I, I feel a responsibility uh, in the sense that, you know, I, I, I feel I represent them. And I just felt that they're not represented, what they're represented in real life are not represented on film a lot. Um, and I just wanted to play someone that had a sex life that um, uh, felt okay about herself and, and understood who she was. And um, I just liked that idea and I thought that, that uh, it would be good. I mean, Francis really wanted to write that um, because he and I talked about it. We had worked be uh, together before. And he felt that A, he wanted to see that. He thought that was a really good idea. And B, he said to me, you always play that, you know, blue collar chick with the heart of gold who tells them like it is, you know, really grounded. And I want you to play someone that's a little bit more light, like you are in real life. And I said, dude, do it, bring it, you know. You do get cast a lot in dramas. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, very dramatic. So was it, did you enjoy having a comedy to play with? Oh my God, I had so much fun. Um, Todd Stashwick, who played Vance, is like one of the funniest people in the world. And so I, all I had to do in that like montage was just watch him because he was brilliant. Yeah. And then Stephanie Weir, uh, who it, it, each each one of them, which was really interesting, is um, Todd usually plays really dark characters a lot of times, and he's incredibly funny. And Tim usually plays over the top guys, and this is very self performance. And Stephanie Weir never plays the straight man, and she was kind of a straight man, right? And so it was kind of exciting that all of us got to play against what we usually get cast. And so it, it, it was an a, a amazing thing. We had a blast. We had a good time. Did they write this for you? Yes, yeah, yeah. Francis did, did write this for me. And, some of the things I've said in my life, he kind of put in there. And um, I have three sisters, and I think I played each one of them at one point. And uh, they don't know that. <laughs> yeah. And I love your relationship with the sister. I thought that the way it evolved into her being a little less uptight. Yeah. And at least have some patagos in your life. And yeah, thank you for that. I think that's really important. Uh, when Francis and I had his first draft, it was a little bit more swayed towards Martin and my relationship. And I said to him, look, my three sisters are my best friends. I want this to be actually the love story of two sisters. And um, because there are so many uh, women out there and men, I guess, that, that their siblings, they might have some sort of competition um, and what I loved is the fact that we came together. Um, and, and it is, for me, an homage to my sisters. It really is, yeah. Does, does anyone have any questions in the audience for Rusty? Okay, so yeah. what are you working on now? I know you have a couple projects. Um, I uh, just finished um, a, a great film called The Short History of Long Road. 
um, that is really brilliant about van dwellers, which is kind of uh, uh, self-explanatory on that. Um, a really amazing film, and um, also a film called Killing Eleanor. And the thing that's really exciting is I think the last three or four films I've worked on have been women producers, directors, writers, uh, uh, lead characters, and it's been really, really exciting doing that. And something that's very strange that I found out in this last film of uh, Short History uh, of a Long Road was um, uh, my first day I was walking on the set and it was really quiet. And I went, oh God, they're, they're shooting right now. Okay. And I said, no, 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 they're not shooting. And what was really strange was uh, they said, no, no, you know, you can walk on the set. And I realized um, it was surprising to me that uh, the sets, the difference between a male-run set and a female-run set is it, it, the female-run set is quiet, which I was like, wow, that's, that's interesting. And then I watched the director, um, Ani Simon Kennedy, who's a great New Yorker, fantastic, and she, um, she'll go up to uh, the actors, and, and it's almost like a secret. She'll be like, okay, okay, so this is what you do. This is what you do. And then uh, uh, she would talk to her cinematographer, Kaylin, and, and she would say, all right, Kaylin, um, so we're gonna do this shot right here. Blah, 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 blah. And, and just really talking, and a lot of the guys would be like, all right, I need you, uh, can you just go and do that take again? Just do it this way, and this time just do it more intimate. You know? And so that was really, really interesting. It was very interesting. I, you know, of course I've had some male directors that are, are really, you know, really intimate too. But uh, it, in general, that was a surprising little fact. You know, that was surprising, yeah. Well, thank you so much. And we're breaking a little bit of protocol here, but we know you're leaving tomorrow, so you're yeah. not going to be here for the end of the festival. Yeah. But we are awarding Rusty Best Actress. For the <laughs> Thank you.